What's up everybody? You're watching Model Aviator. I'm Adam. This week we have a new release announcement and review of an airplane from Horizon Hobby. This is our OG UMX Waco and this is the UMX airplane that we get the most requests or at least the most wishes that Horizon Hobby would update and bring back. Well guess what? And here they are. Yes, they. There's a white and red one and a yellow and black one. So funny story. At Horizon Hobby, a lot of minds come together, a lot of enthusiastic opinions, if you will, to decide what paint scheme they're going to go with for a new airplane. In the case of the updated Waco, both of the options looked so good, they just couldn't decide by enough of a majority to pick one. So, on this rare occasion, they decided to do both. Now, that is a rare occasion. That will not become the norm, but we'll certainly take it this time because both of these things look sweet. UMX Wacos come fully assembled in the same protective boxes we're all used to. Those double for storage and transportation as well if you decide you want to use them for that. The Waco has a wingspan of 21.7 inches. It's 16 and a half inches long. The white and red weighs 4.2 ounces ready to fly with a Spectrum 3S 300 milliamp pack. The yellow and black weighs 4.5 ounces ready to fly with the same pack. It has a Spectrum 3196 receiver and ESC board, a 1208-1900 kV brushless motor, and 2.3 gram long throw linear servos. It's intended for use with 2S 280 milliamp to 3S 300 milliamp packs. So one of the clear new features of the updated Waco is the fact that you do have a choice between white and yellow. You probably noticed listening to the specs, there is a difference in weight. The white one is about 8 grams lighter than the yellow one that's fully painted. 8 grams doesn't sound like a lot of weight, but it's significant enough for better pilots to feel the difference when you're talking about airplanes that weigh just a few ounces ready to fly. That was part of the conversation at Horizon Hobby. The question is, is it enough difference to really make a difference? There were people that felt like it did and people that felt like it didn't and a tiny weight penalty was worth it to have such a pretty fully painted model. They sent us one of each so we could judge that for ourselves and convey that to you. And when we get to the flying, we'll do just that. We've got our OG Waco back on the bench to help emphasize one of the more convenient features the upgraded Wacos have. With the original, the entirety of the hatch was the top part of the cowling, and it made getting batteries in the Waco a little bit difficult. With the newest version, they've extended the hatch all the way back to where the cabane struts start. So as you can see here, you've got a lot more room to work. If you take a peek under that new hatch, you'll notice that there's an upgraded receiver and ESC board. It now sports AS3X and optional safe select. It has a higher amp ESC that is 2 and 3S compatible, and that's hooked to a much more powerful motor. Of course, all that gives you some battery options. You can use your old E-Flight 280s with the pH connector or the new Spectrum 330C with the pH connector. To use either of those, you need this adapter. If you want a more direct connection, Spectrum has a 2S 350C with a JST connector or a 3S 330C with the JST connector to maximize your power and get the most out of that power system. If you have a charger that has EC3 or IC3 connectors, you can use this charge lead to charge batteries with a pH connector and this one to charge batteries that have a JST connector. You also get some smart telemetry if you have a compatible spectrum transmitter. You'll get flight log information, minimum and maximum voltage, minimum and maximum ESC telemetry, and on-the-fly ESC telemetry. And rounding out the features are a couple of little scale features. I mean, let's be honest, no UMX plane's ever going to win the U.S. Scale Masters Championships or Top Gun or anything like that. But the pilot figure with a scarf and all the flying wires on these things, that's a nice touch. The setup couldn't be simpler, the manual is very well written, and it's in the new format that takes even a person that's not super comfortable programming their transmitter through a step-by-step -step process of getting everything programmed before you bind the airplane. 
and after you bind it there really isn't much to it you want to make sure that your control surfaces are centered the manual also covers that and how to make mechanical adjustments if your plane needs it and then you pretty much made it you can adjust expo once you fly the airplane if you feel like it needs it we're at 100% rates and we didn't use any expo we didn't think it needed it it's a pretty simple setup page, but we're going to put the setup info page next so you can pause that and get all the info if you'd like. Okay, time to get the flying. We went to a couple of different venues, some 2S flying, good bit of 3S flying. This thing's fun. Check this out. We'll see you back here after the flying and give you our final thoughts. Yes, the Waco's not overpowered, but it certainly has enough for basic sport aerobatics and a good bit of fun. Little Wacko's no trouble flying inverted on 2S. The Waco is very predictable in slow flight and has no bad habits.
with resale, you've got the power to do pretty much whatever you want to do with it. If you follow our channel, you know if we have an ultra micro at this venue, this has to happen. Of course, you knew we were going to do this with both of them, right? And there you have it, exactly what I was really hoping for. The upgraded Waco feels like the OG Waco with more power, and that's really what you want. The OG Waco was such a great flying airplane. 
I wouldn't change a thing about that airplane's flight characteristics. Just make it more powerful, give me more battery options. That's exactly what you have here. Now, the big question is, can I feel a difference in the unpainted and painted versions as far as feel when I fly them? Is there enough of a difference in the weight that I can feel it? And the answer is yes, I can feel it, but it's very minuscule. And I feel it, I think, primarily because I'm flying them back to back and really focusing on feeling the difference. If I were to just get either one of these airplanes individually, open them up and fly them, I would be immensely pleased with the improvement over the OG Waco, and that's really what it's all about. So, to sum it up, is there enough difference that you can feel? Yes. Is it enough difference to really make a difference? In my opinion, no. Buy the one you want, and you're gonna be happy with your UMX Waco. So basically, Horizon hit another UMX airplane out of the park. They are the best in the business at airplanes this size. I think everybody knows that, and the new upgraded Wacos are no exception. Another good thing to remember about all the UMX airplanes is they are remote ID exempt, which is nice. Nice to be able to take something like this and make a parking lot, a ball field, pretty much any place you want to fly a really big front or backyard. You could even fly these things in a gymnasium that's as big as a basketball court. They slow down really well. You just have so many options with airplanes that size. It's a neat thing to have in your hangar for those times when you really want to get some flying in, but you push for space. So I think the price point is more than fair. It's the same price as the UMX Pits. I agree with Horizon's assessment that this is a skill level two airplane. Essentially, they're suggesting that this could be a second airplane after you master a trainer. I absolutely agree with that. These things are solid. They now have safe select, which helps, but they're just not difficult to fly, and they don't really have any bad habits. Again, it flies like the OG Waco. That's what they remind me of, just with a lot more punch, and that's a good thing. So, if you decide that you'd like to add a UMX Waco to your hangar, we'll put a link in the description where you can do that. When you go through that link, it supports our channel, so if you'd like to do that, we appreciate it when you do. Thank you. Take care of yourselves. Happy flying. We'll see you next week with something else cool with wings.